Chairman Roberts, Ranking Member Stabenow, thank you for the introduction, members of the committee. My name is Lindsay lusher shoot and it is a distinct honor to be here with you today. Our country needs farmers, the generation of men and women who have stewarded our land, who have grown food for the nation, are aging, and there are simply not enough young people ready to step up and take their place. Between 2007 and 2012, our nation lost 90,000 principal operators. Farmers over the age of 65 now outnumber farmers under the age of 35 by a margin of six to one. Two thirds of farmland is managed by someone aged 55 or older. And then in the next five years, the span of the next farm bill, uh, we expect that 100 million acres of US farmland will need a new farmer. The only way to bring young people back to agriculture is to prove to them that it is a career worth pursuing. We must prove to them that you can still start farming in your 20s when you have a good back, good knees, lots of energy. We must prove to them that farming can support you through all stages of life, through having children, through retirement, through hardship. And the only way that we're going to be able to prove all of these things is to ensure that people who are young and who are farming today, we have to make sure that they make it. And that's why I'm here. Young Americans are farming, and many more are getting trained. In the last census of agriculture, in fact, we saw the first increase in the number of young people farming under 35, the second time we've seen this in the last century. So that is significant. And if these farmers make it, I believe more will follow. These millennials, uh, multi-generational farmers, first-generation farmers, veterans, former farm workers, they're entrepreneurial and tough, but far too many are finding that that is just not enough. Young farmers and ranchers struggle with finding farmland, managing student debt, affording health care, as well as deep biases that disadvantage women and people of color who are farming. Land access is dire. Over the past 15 years, farmland real estate prices have gone up by 150 percent. And as farmland prices rise faster than farm incomes, farmland ownership, that foundation of a successful family farm, grows further out of reach. Serving young farmers will require new ways of doing things <laughs> and working together to protect opportunity for all growers. There are certainly changes that young farmers need in the next Farm Bill and from USDA, but I want you to know that actions by this committee and USDA are making a difference, and we need to build on this progress in the next Farm Bill. FSA's microloans are essential. FSA's New Beginning Farmer Coordinators, its cooperative agreements with organizations like ours, are bringing these programs to more farmers. We urge FSA and USDA to finally modernize its services and put them online. To address farmland prices, we need to adjust the direct farm ownership loan limit up and pre-approve farmers for loans so they can actually compete on the real estate market with an FSA loan. Farmland conservation funding must also be increased to keep prices in check and, of course, to protect our land. Farm safety net programs are critical and new programs like whole farm revenue protection, NAP discounts for beginners, and NAP buy-up are covering more growers and they should be fully supported. But business models young farmers are turning to, like community-supported agriculture, CSA, like my farm, they still do not fit these programs, and many of them have no insurance whatsoever. We, ins we urge you to further strengthen the safety net and help farmers to save for tough times through tax-deferred or tax-free farmer savings accounts. These savings uh, accounts could also help young growers save for future farm needs. We also encourage this committee to address student debt. Chairman Roberts, we are grateful for your efforts to expand GI Bill benefits for veterans pursuing careers in agriculture. That's tremendous. This is the right direction. We encourage the committee to explore ways that all young farmers pursuing farm careers could manage student debt because it is, frankly, interfering with their ability to secure additional credit. Farming is a career that is easy to love, but to recruit the next generation of farmers, it must also provide a decent living. We look forward to working with the committee to make that possible. On behalf of the National Young Farmers Coalition's 36 farmer-led chapters, thank you for this opportunity. Ms. Hsu, thank you so much for that very uh, excellent testimony regarding when and where the next generation of farmers can, uh, can come aboard.